everybody, this is Lane from Cocoon, and today I thought it might be a, a worthwhile discussion to have. Um, I actually received a question on Facebook from someone who wrote to me, um, and this is from Jackie, and she said, do you ever create styles for women who have had a double mastectomy? More precisely, someone myself who has decided to live flat, meaning that I decided against any form of enhancements after surgery. I find it difficult at times to find flattering casual wear. And I went, wow, because um, that was never on my radar. And just a few weeks ago, one of our salespeople said to me um, that she had two clients that had double mastectomies, opted for no reconstructive surgery, and wanted some advice on um, what styles to choose. And so one of my first reactions was like, well, you know, well, they're flat chested. That's easier than trying to fit someone who has a large bust, which is our really our number one um, fit issue for women. Uh, it is the, our most common uh, request um, for help. It's I have a big chest. It's hard to fit. You know, what do I do? I've never heard the opposite. Um, it's it's always been like, well, you. You, you've got a small chest, you're lucky. Um, you can wear anything and it's easy. Uh, and I'm, I'm very flat chested. I, I can barely fill an A cup. I have had to wear big padded bras my entire life. And this is me with a big padded bra on. Um, and it's still just like, you know, not, not much there. Um, so, but I thought that this was worth a discussion. So it's obviously something that um, women have to face and it's not a great thing for them. Um, but I started doing a little research after I, I got this message because I was like, well, I should probably learn uh, more about this. And um, so I delved in some, into you know, some websites and Google searches. Um, and so you know, there's some support groups for people like that. I, I think I've found women who are embracing it and it's like freedom, a uh, feeling of freedom or you know, whatever, uh, to not have to, uh, you know, Deal with bras or you know that type of thing. Um, I think for other women, it's really a painful situation. They're dealing with scar tissue, um, some con concave issues. Um, so it, it takes that fun element, you know, completely out of the picture. And so anyway, so I wanted to come at this with more of an empathetic um, point of view, and also I would like to learn more about about it. Um, I mean, we don't we don't do custom designs, but I I do like to learn from women. Uh, what what their wardrobe needs are because I do take those th that type of feedback into consideration in our future designing. So if you're not solving problems for people, you know you're not you're not much use to people. So um, anyway, so just to start with, I I, I did send some just some just suggestions. Excuse me, some suggestions um, to Jackie, and I just thought I would share them with you. So you know, first of all, we're primarily a knit uh, designer and knits often can be clingier um, than wovens and so that's something that may not be a natural choice but there's a whole variety of knitwear and so I would say you know try to gravitate towards knits that have more body and structure to them um, different weights and that type of things so this is our Kate sweatshirt and this is it like in a nubby uh, boucle um, uh, but it's still in a it's in a nice um, lightweight knit, and so it's a great transitional weight for this time of year, transitioning transitioning from winter to summer, and it's something that's not going to be clingy. Um, and first of all, the, actually, the first suggestion I started with was always wear a cami. Um, I wear a cami or one of our slips every single day, and it's they're not shapers. Um, it's not going to change your body or hold things in. It's just a little bit of, um, I call it a whisper of confidence, and it will just help your clothes also glide more easily over your body. Um, I, every, every single woman that I've ever convinced to give them a try comes back and buys them in multiple colors and, and says they wear them every single day. Um, but anyway, so this is one option. Um, you know, gravitate towards patterns and textures. And so this is just an example of, you know, a little tank top, it's just a slight racer back. This is our diamond lace uh, tank top. It has a little rayon jersey liner in it, um, and it falls away from the body. So, you know, this is a really great option. Um, 
you know, just for a nice little casual tank top that's not going to be too clingy. And, you know, just throw it under one of your cardigans or jackets, um, you know, for a great casual look. And if you are going to do, if you are going to do a tank top that is more form-fitting, try to, again, try to look for textures. This is, um, I feel a little hard to see it in the black gray, but um, this is in the Dusty Rose. So this is a French terry texture, but it actually has the loop on the face of the fabric, which is unusual, and it just gives it a little surface interest. And again, it's just something that, um, you know, gives a little thickness to the knit, but it's still lightweight and really, really soft. Um, and that is the other thing with our fabrics is that they feel amazing on the skin. Um, and that was another thing I read about with um, some of the women who were in these support groups is that it's painful and it hurts to have um, fabric rubbing on, on the skin. So our knits are really, really soft. This is a really great, super casual, fun, you know, just 70s influence little um, tunic top. And it falls away from the body. It has some little shearing underneath here. It has some bust um, detailing with the lace over the, over the chiffon. And so, again, this just creates an illusion, um, but it also falls away nicely from the body. And then here was a, an example of uh, one of our new sweatshirt bodies that we're doing. And, you know, our, our pieces tend to have a casual look to them, but they, they just have a little extra something. So, you know, they're casual, but they're also elegant at the same time. And so this is um, our new left of center um, sweatshirt. It just has a little tie detail here. It creates a little volume when you're wearing it. And again, in this uh, French terry texture. Now, some people, if uh, they are living flat and they're embracing that, um, like something that's more form-fitting. And I'll just tell you that like this type of shirred crossover body is really, really super flattering. And it has the shearing detail. Um, it has shearing up here and at the cross. So when you're wearing it, it does, uh, it'll give you a little bit of volume, um, you know, in the chest area. This is also like a really wonderful option for, um, for this season. So this is a medallion lace and we lined it with a rayon jersey. So again, you'll only feel the softness against your skin. And it has two layers of the rayon jersey in the back. So you, it has a really nice body and weight to this. But just a super easy fit through the torso. It's not gonna be tight and clingy. And again, like, you know, this type of texture just really, whether you have breasts or you don't have them, this is going to be a really, really flattering and easy to wear top. And again, you could pair it with shorts if you want to go super casual with it, but this could go to the office. This can go out to dinner. Um, this is great for lots of different needs in your wardrobe. Um, and a little bit more dressy option. So this has amazing surface interest to it. And so this is actually an embroidered tool and the embroidery is really substantial. It has a really wonderful um, density to this and it's on this new tool and the tool has a slight crinkle texture to it and it has a built-in liner so again all you're gonna feel on your skin is just wonderful softness and so another example of um, great texture in a casual outfit that can also go dressy um, this is our Felicity boat neck top it has a great little shoulder detail uh, Three-quarter sleeves, just an easy, not, it's not too boxy, but just has a nice easy shape through the torso. It hits right about here. Um, but this, again, like we photographed this with cute little white jeans and tennis shoes. Um, but this can also, like I said, go to work, go out to dinner. Um, it can go dressy and, and it just has a really wonderful crepe texture to it. So it gives you just a little extra something. So one of the advantages of being flat chested is you don't necessarily need to uh, wear a bra or you don't need to wear a bra. So um, this is just one of our most popular Newville spring dresses and this is our Mitzi and it's actually an off shoulder, um, but you can perch it up on your shoulders as well and it's just absolutely adorable with little pockets. Um, it has uh, a little, we call it a sear checker. It's like a sear sucker um, that's been pre-washed, it's cotton and uh, it, it is just absolutely adorable.
And like I mentioned, um, if you are going to do knits and you uh, don't want them to be clingy, look for knits that have more body and substance to them. This is a great example. So this is our Crosby dress and this is a knit jacquard fabric. Um, so this is suitable for probably three to four seasons out of the year. Um, it just has more structure to it. It's just going to really hold you and hide a multitude of sins. And then it just has that medallion lace again on the shoulders and the medallion lace is lined um, so you can't see through it. But um, it just has a cute little fit, fit and flare shape and it's just really adorable. And then one of the easiest things to wear are uh, really popular shapes right now are um, like gathered peasant type, peasant uh, type tops with some gathering or shearing or elastic around the neckline and shoulders. And I just wanted to show you um, a few that we have coming up uh, in development. And so, what are we calling this? The <laughs> Your wee talisman. This is the talisman tunic, <laughs> sorry. We just designed this yesterday. Um, but it has this really great little split sleeve detail. So it's not a cold shoulder, but you're getting that really um, great sleeve detail, which is really popular right now as a different option. It has a longer tunic body. And it just has this easy elastic shearing, you know, around, you know, the neckline. And this is just going to fall away really beautifully and comfortably. Great over leggings. Um, it's just super, super adorable. And then similarly, this is a cropped version, or not a cropped version, but more of like a hip length version of that talisman um, body that we're doing with the split sleeve. And this is in a Parcheesi print um, chiffon. And um, again, like that, that's just gonna, you know, be a really easy choice um, for whether you're big busted, small busted, no busted, um, it completely works. Um, and then lastly, I just wanted to show you this one that we have in production. This is actually just a test that we did. Um, and this is just a little off-shoulder, little striped chambray top for summer. Just super adorable. And you, know, and you can do this. And that, it's just going to fall away beautifully and look super adorable and flattering. So anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I'd love to hear more. If you have any questions for me, um, please go ahead and message me on our Facebook page, uh, Cocoon, um, on Facebook. It's K-O-K-O-O-N. Um, and uh, our website is cocoon.net, K-O-K-O-O-N.net. Thank you so much for joining us.